Right, Teleode champs. Now, today we're going to have a look at the Inspiron 16. Is this the affordable XPS 15 and or 17, I guess? And here it is, the sexy XPS. Yes, this thing is amazing and it is the signature laptop of Dell. But, you know, this laptop is more affordable, this Inspiron. And spec-wise, very similar to an XPS 15. So we're going to unbox it, have a look. We're going to do a, like a hardcore thermal test to see its output. And what's interesting about this is it's the Inspiron 16. I think a lot of companies are actually going to a 16-inch laptop. Rather than make a 15-inch and a 17-inch, just, you know, cut the difference and do a 16-inch. Now, the XPS 15 and 17 were designed, obviously, a few years ago. I wonder if they were making an XPS now or the next XPS after they discontinued the current ones, maybe three to five years' time, whether they'll just go to a 16-inch rather than have a 15 or a 17-inch. And let let me know do you prefer that just having the one in between the 16 inch or would you prefer 15 and 17 separately so anyway let's have a look now having a look on the side it is the inspiron 16 plus model so it's a 7610 Miss Blue 16 inch display, Intel 11800 H processor, 32 gigs of RAM, Wolf, that's pretty cool, one terabyte SSD, and it actually says G Force Graphics. What is the graphics? We'll find out. Now, the thing about Inspiron, as I said, they're sort of like the affordable XPS, and you know, they're not boxed up like the XPS, they're the signature. As I said, um, these things are very simple. All they have in them basically is the power brick. Whoa, let's get that so basically yeah it just comes in plain cardboard nothing fancy here and we have a 130 watt power supply so the same amount of wattage as the xps 15 and 17. now it is the barrel charger here so it's no usb-c i will actually have a look and actually put an xps 130 watt usb-c into this and see if it can power it you know we'll see what happens there maybe you can just buy one of those let's have a look at the laptop god it feels light for a 16 incher and there we have it this is the mist blue okay well yeah i guess it's sort of blue sort of looks more gray to me but um yeah i guess it is sort of a shade of a blue there uh, there's the bottom you can see there where the vents come out so it looks like it has some good cooling a lot of vintage there a lot more ventilation than say the xps 15. now what is this bit here is that some sort of modular part i have no idea but what we do have on the right hand side is a headphone jack, USB type A and an SD card reader. On the left hand side, Thunderbolt, so it should be Thunderbolt 4, so that means it should be able to do at least 100 watts of power there. We have USB type A again and a HDMI, I'll have to check if that's 2.1, uh, we'll check that out. And then you have the barrel connector there as well, so you've got ventilation. This thing looks like it really has some beefy ventilation there. Full size keyboard, I hate full size keyboards. I know some people love them, not me. I just, yeah, they're not for me. She started up there. What I can see is this is a matte display and it doesn't look like a super bright display. I guess, yeah, no, it's not too bad. If I was gonna guess, it's a 300 nit, we'll have a look. This is an RTX Studio laptop. So let's just have a look what we have in here. Is it a 3050? I'd say it's a 3050 or 3050 Ti, one of the two I'd say there. Display adapter. Oh my God. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. So this is one level above the XPS 15 in terms of specs because this has an RTX 3060. Of course, that's probably why it's got all that ventilation. It does have the privacy cam there, privacy shutter there. So, you know, if you're practicing for the Fist of Fury or whatever, you can, you know, close that off. I'm talking about the karate tournament, of course. So there we can see the difference between the 15 inch compactness of the XPS 15. They are so sexy, the XPS, how compact they are and everything. Um, yeah, you can see the difference there in size, big footprint difference there. You know, and that, that would be close to an inch there. I mean, it would be a hard choice between these two. I mean, clearly the XPS is much sexier, much more premium and, you know, has more thunderbolts and better display options and stuff like that but when you look at it just on purely on specs i would say this is the winner the 16 incher all right here so just to give you a look at the difference in brightness this one does over 500 nits i believe and this one here what do we got here the brightness so we'll just lower that down completely and we'll just brighten that up and I can clearly see the XPS is definitely brighter. It does have more pop too. 
I mean, it is glossy, so that's going to happen, just glossy versus matte. But this one has the power and the full-size keyboard if you want that. I mean, the XPS has a really good keyboard. So far, when I've just been flicking through that, this does feel better, that trackpad as well. I mean, this is more premium. You can see, you know, carbon fiber, it's sexy, the thin bezels and stuff like that. But if you just want an affordable laptop, 16-inch with a 3060 compared to, a, you know, a 3050 Ti, yeah. It's going to be very interesting. So what happens when I plug this Dell 130 watt power supply into this? Is it powering it? Yes, it is powering it. And usually it will give me a warning if it's not enough power. And it's not. It's not saying, you know, it's not powerful enough. The best way to test this is actually restarting. Because when you restart, it'll definitely give you a warning if the power supply is not, you know, powerful enough to power the unit. So we'll just restart that and see if it actually gives me that warning. Also have a fingerprint reader here too. So it's not giving me that warning. So you can indeed power this. I don't think it will get the full 130 watts through here because maybe it's not built for it. I don't know. I'll have to check, but it's not giving me a warning saying it's not enough power. So I would say it does have enough power and you might be able to put that 130 watts in here. Although it's a bit where it's located, it's not the best. So I'm gonna do a thermal test. You can watch the thermal test, stay tuned. I've gonna review this and compare it to this and compare it to Max, whatever. You know the drill. Just let's have a look at its power output because at the end of the day, we know how these laptops perform. I've reviewed all the 30 series graphics card, all the 11th gen CPUs, you know, all the AMDs, everything. We know how they perform. Basically, the performance you get out of these laptops is going to be how much wattage it can sustain GPU and CPU because we know how the parts perform. So, I've got to say, spec-wise, absolute beast. does look nice enough. They're tough. They're tough, these things. Um, I've got to say, the Inspirons, they can take a bit of bash and crash. You're going to have a look at the thermals now. Stay tuned for my full review on this. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Sally, ho. Oh.